Hello, and now we're gonna review Valeria uh, portfolio. I hope I'm saying it right. So um, the first thing I uh, usually do is to overall go through um, the entire portfolio to see the amount of work you have uh, and the projects and like what I'm gonna anticipate. lot of work, mm, a lot of different projects, and I thought there, I think there was three, but there were a lot of work in there, and I'm trying to usually see how we can condense a uh, portfolio, because usually um, uh, the recruiters are going through a lot of portfolios, and you want to show your best works uh, in the fast in the quickest way possible and just avoid the extra noise or extra information that they might not need so let's go through the process the, for the portfolio this is the intro and then you introduced yourself that's nice um and what is uh here yeah okay so we are starting with a project called explorer uh, what I usually um, like when I comment about uh, if you want to introduce a project if you design this to be a poster that's fine but if this is a concept art any kind of extra text on top could affect your composition so I would uh, explore either a different way of putting it here like this pink bold sharp with this font I'm not sure if the best choice in general because um, yeah you might you could introduce the project like smaller in a smaller in the corner just right now this is like the composition is entirely this arrows is going this big arrow is going towards the title and I'm completely distracted by this part and which I have to be like looking at this right so composition wise i think this is not helping here to see the the flow you're breaking the flow of the cloud and uh in general i think so you have a great lighting and i love your style i love the colors and how you are dividing with some accent color with this magical flower the road that this um yeah wander is going uh, to this temple or this strange place and I love it. It's beautiful. The colors I love. You're great with it. And what I would do is just just to create a, so the flow. I would like to see the flow. Some part of it also here too, because this is dark. And then from here we go to this temple or this uh, pyramid. And uh, there are a lot of. Um, so here you have the foreground pretty dark like black and then you have a lot of saturated flowers pink flowers here if they are supposed to be shining or if they have like extra light i would show it with light like i would show it in a way that shows it like a flashlight little flashlights or ambient little small flower light that have some ambient light around it but not this saturated color because this doesn't show any light and if you only want to show color then they are probably going to be dark like the foreground so i what i would do is to create like i'm i'm not i don't want to see the flowers here i want to see a lot of flowers around the main character and if they produce any sort of light uh, it could reflect on the character or in general the most saturated part should be here around this and then I want to see some of this light maybe here or just you know just play around more with this character because if the character is this dark we're not going to have such white paper right so I don't see the shadows on the papers and that's why uh, I think uh, to create this flow and to create this focal point just from here to here I would avoid having some saturated elements in the foreground 
and instead I'm gonna put it around the character and then from here I'm gonna follow the colors just as beautiful as you put it here and we're gonna go there so this will be my only comment about this work but it looks beautiful and it's a great start uh, to see like what you like to do and like your personality as an artist that you're so good with simple colors and you can create a lot of depth with even simple shapes so that's really nice and we're going to look at your character I love it it looks beautiful and let the expression looks cute so we have a lot of expressions here and some poses right mm. yeah so there is a little bit of inconsistency in the expressions like this is this seems like a different face compared to this this has like like the eyes are more separated and bigger eyelid and if if you want to make it bigger or smaller it wouldn't be like uh, like this different and also this like more anime like uh, stylized and this eyes are more like realistic and even these two that needs to be super similar because they are from the same angle sort of but different expression are not looking that similar to me the face is not uh, like the same shape so you have a lot of the, the I think there is a little bit inconsistency with the shape of the face and where and how you draw eyes and that's uh, definitely that could help uh, here uh, like look how you treated the eye here and here these are all different eyes to me and uh, it's okay if you want to have the eyelid um, the, uh, sorry the yeah if you want to have different eyelids or different uh, pupil or but just make sure that they all will eventually we could see the little bit of red here you know just uh, play around with it but keep uh, keep the original form if this is original or this is original I think is this is one the original one just make sure that they all read kind of eventually it's the same so if I only see this I'm not gonna know the character's eyes are red right so this is sh showing me more information about that so even if you want to try this expression make sure we don't lose information about the character and here we have some poses um it's trying to keep the balance trying to write something and keep the balance so i think uh, these two poses are s almost identical or similar like I'm not sure if she's doing the same thing but um, yeah what I would explore in uh, this part if you want to explore like the exploration of the character dynamic and poses is explaining some sort of personality about the character so the magic they have uh, the way they uh, you know their body behave in it. but to me it doesn't here like especially here I mean just balancing on something and um, maybe it's not if you have three maybe you have more but it's not the uh, you can make better choices of what to show maybe she is um, whatever feature she has like the boldest feature the three uh, is writing and holding something and balancing so uh, just pick up the, the, be the three boldest things she does like for example she is uh, she's like writing yeah sure she has some a lot of gadgets here maybe she's like uh, if, if it's a game maybe you can show what kind of uh, features she has she's flying she's like s like sneaking out just a little bit of more personality because just keeping a balance in general is not uh, just to have three poses keeping a balance it doesn't say much about a personality I think I, yeah, yeah I said it right yeah so I love the detail I love everything about her a lot of nice colors I love that you are exploring 
uh, just different colors next to each other and then the eyes has a flow because you're repeating the accent colors like the blue and then the red and I would what I would do is to if this is the pose that we're gonna show and now the composition wise we have a cross here and uh, you can create a lot of dynamic poses like this and I would if you have like one pose to introduce the character I wouldn't make it like a cross I would make it a little bit with more flow because the character seems such a fun character and I will add that also to the pose uh, unless this is like a, for a 3d artist it's a turnaround that makes sense but if this is something that you want to introduce your character with I would explore with the poses like just at least uh, add a little bit more flow here which you did it already here so we have a lot of amazing silhouettes we have the character exploration in colors but look at this this is absolutely this is so gorgeous like do you see the flow like she's a standing there is like a weight of a body at like one side the silhouette of the papers are so much fun and I think I would just keep this air, this uh, whatever it is what is it is a paper or stick I wouldn't like, I wouldn't put it like this straight I would put it a little bit more angled but like compare this to this this is beautiful this is like what I mean right or even this but the, this one still has like this is straight line I would avoid it if you have like this line then this one to to contradict with this line I would make it a little bit more like towards this one goes down a bit so you create some sort of flow but just this is amazing I would if I want to introduce this character I would put it in this pose this is beautiful and yeah the turnarounds the turnarounds are great yeah a lot of work and you have some gadgets so that's nice and um, it's just funny I wasn't even holding my mic um, and we have some gadgets here nicely rendered I must say compared to your first illustration your this rendering style is different from this this is very simplified and this is like a this is rendered like very much it's not like as simplified as the illustration so like this is like super rendered so uh, I'm not sure if you wanted to keep them two different style but it to me it comes as two different style like these are all beautiful beautiful gadget I love this you're so creative I love the colors I can imagine she is like this cool whatever she's doing like a like a letter girl let her man <laughs> she's just going around and she has all this magic and all this stuff to just it's a messenger with a lot of cool gadgets so we got more poses here again and and writing and we have a writing just looking so see we have a little bit of the same uh, happening here we have same repeating the same kind of angle and body poses I wouldn't uh, do that I would try to explore more and here um, I think this big like you rendered this big plant and it's bigger than all of your characters I wouldn't do it I don't even want to see this that much maybe a drawing would be fine but what I, we want to see if your character and what is very important in these uh, drawing is we see every little detail right because we're trying to explain how this character acts or reacts so I think you are at the f in the furry face in the hands you're just skipping a lot of information you are uh, you need to explain more what's happening exactly to hand to face and yet the nose here is almost like fading it's it's very rough i know but i wouldn't lose information even though it's rough like like you wouldn't lose information here you put all the information here but i would still keep it all even in hands and uh, other areas i would keep it the same and 
I also try to avoid a lot of profile uh, like uh, it's just just try to explore with uh, yeah more more like she, if she's throwing a knife just throw something and film yourself and see if if you do this right this is like this is not how we throw things this is how we so the flow is coming from the back not to the front so there are a little bit of um, uh, d dynamic here that needs to be also corrected and I think the best thing to do is to try to film yourself doing the same thing that's the only way that you can find the best reference so try to see if you can hold a paper and write something and see if you're holding it in front of your face or a little bit lower so all these little details can make the pose a lot more interesting and believable because it's it's easier to imagine uh, how uh, it will look like in reality right uh, the environment looks great amazing i love that you create a different flooring uh, i would have still even uh, exaggerate like put this lower or this higher just this up and down and breaking this big big shape i think um can help a lot with with uh your environment and uh yeah it looks great awesome i love your colors your concept so we're jumping into another um project with the grandma via zombies grandma versus zombies so we have them um, the poster again and then the characters and then props and then this okay and then that's the next project so if i compare this work i love this concept i love this grandma i already looked at your work before that's why i'm just going through it by just only talking so this is amazing great detail i love your this character it's just super cool and the zombies are also i love them they're just nice zombies um, about this work, I think I would uh, have some comments about the colors here. So your first illustration of like when you put it up there of the first project looked amazing. This one I think needs a little bit more correction because um, so we have a red sun and so imagine it's daylight and we have a yellow like warm color sun so everywhere is going to be warm right so if we have a red moon or a red sun or whatever it is everywhere is going to be red this is not just the just it's not going to be just a the color there it's going to affect everything but i don't see it here i don't see it here so just um try to look up for movies that have red sky right and see how the everything is just a red and it's just the variations of red and you see some grays like some gray color that they can help to represent colder color like green and etc but uh, here i don't see the effect of this super saturated red anywhere like here and also this blue wouldn't exist next to this red so there is a, le a little bit of i think you need to reference to find reference for this for this lighting because i think it suits your project and it's great it's amazing and i would explore a little bit more of what happens when we have a red sky and uh yeah the rest is nice we have like a house uh, that is going like it's just an arrow uh, we have uh, a foreground which is super nice we have stuff coming out of the graveyard uh, and yeah that's it i would do this and let's try to see what happens in the in the mm, yeah what happens if everything is red and here the grandma looks nice you have some exploration i personally like uh, this like more feminine hair for grandma because this this is like a little bit more anime to me but it's absolutely personal this is not something that i can really comment on uh, i just like to have some elements of being grandma i like that she's cool but just just one or two elements like this hair and everything just to immediately show me she's a grandma i think that's a good good idea like this pearl necklace 
the guns looks fun the house looks fun you have some isometric and elements uh, my only comment would be that if she is not throwing away the bones and she's trying to make use of everything i mean these uh, to make a house these are like dinosaur bones right these are not even animal bones so this big of the bones i think if you have dinosaurs that's fine but uh, if not then i'm maybe elephant i don't know but these are not like human bones so um, just just that's the only thing comes to my mind that i don't see a lot of human bones <laughs> Uh, here I see more the like interior. Yeah, the design is nice. I would still keep breaking the the floor with up and down a bit. Also, it's a small a small place, but I maybe add some curve like here. You have like maybe a curved platform with some fence that this goes like try to make the shape more interesting and avoid just keep one big flat shape like as a as a you know fl like a floor. And uh, these are really nice, uh, a different technique from what I saw so far, but they look cute and um, yeah, I love these. These are nice. These are nice. I also absolutely in love with these works, like this camera exploration. This is beautiful and I would make them even bigger, honestly. I mean, this is to me a lot more work and more interesting rather than... Uh, like having here so you can have the elements like all next to each other in one page and make these bigger these are a lot like this is beautiful this is this shows that you can see so much when you're designing from different angles you can imagine a lot of things you can imagine a space and i absolutely love these work and so this was this project so are we gonna uh, so that's where you have to see where are you repeating yourself and what what are you like showing that if you ever like uh, adding a project make sure it's a sub different style that you're showing us a different style or you are uh, showing us uh, something new uh, uh, rather than the, like the same thing over and over again which helps uh, with keeping the portfolio more interesting so we have some characters here and uh, yeah, we have some introduction of the character mm, and just about what is this project is about and we have this character and then the exploration. Uh, my favorite one, my favorite design is this one because you have so much happening with the contrast and the silhouette is very clear. Uh, compared to this one this is like uh, I, I would like I like the pose in the other one also better but that's also a little bit of personal which at least this pose is more interesting than this if you know what I mean it's because she is aiming at something and has more personality compared to this uh, yeah great exploration they're all look I love this pose that you did like this flow it's fantastic I wasn't sure about this part because it's a lot of frames so I wonder if you're trying to say you're you're trying to animate this uh, is that what you mean because uh, we either show how she runs or I'm not sure why are you adding a lot of frames of each like uh, if you know what I mean if if you have something to animate and you want to show something just uh, put a video in your portfolio if these frame by frame I'm not sure what you're trying to do and here on the attack I know you're trying to design some movement but again uh, I would just have like like maybe one or two pose because here you have like a default default like repeated and then here you have kind of similar pose and then here there's again at the i mean there's not much happening to repeat all this over and over again and also here if you have like something coming from the back i think this arrow would be the other way around so you need to flip it if i'm right flip yeah so this wouldn't the flow isn't like this the flow is like this so the curve would be from the other side because this is the curve 
So cor uh, you need to correct that, otherwise I'm not sure what she's doing here. And here, I love this, I love this. This is great. One of your most interesting works, I would say. It looks pretty, I love the colors, I love the style, I love what you did with the props. And I probably put this higher in portfolio. So this is one of the highlight of your portfolio, I would say, this is style. So. Uh, and uh, I, I show this uh, if I wanted to share after characters I would maybe show this work or even a little bit further I'm not sure where but uh, this is really pretty I love these these are really strong mm, and then you ended with uh, this work uh, I would just keep the last page simple if you want to show anything about this project uh, which I don't think it's necessary because I know you're trying to show some realistic vendor but you already showed us before in another project so either you have more of this to share or you have a section about illustrations I wouldn't put this here because mm, it's just from here cut to this one it's a big jump and and then and then this is the only thing I see um, I either put it in a separate page or you want to have some sort of theme in your portfolio that keep repeating just stay loyal to what you created here so you completely changed it at the end which uh, I think is not a good idea I would just keep it the same as the uh, the intro so to just make it more cohesive uh, visually well I hope this helps and this helps and let me know if you have questions thank you